Understanding come to maturity in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, come to maturity. This phrase is not only interesting but also widely used in various contexts. Understanding it can really enrich your English vocabulary and comprehension. So, let's get started and explore what this phrase means and how to use it effectively. Come to maturity is a phrase that describes the process of reaching a stage of full development or complete growth. It can be used in different contexts, such as 1. Biological growth. When referring to living organisms, like plants or animals, including humans, reaching their full physical development. 2. Emotional or intellectual development. Describing a person achieving a state of emotional or intellectual completeness. 3. Financial terms. In finance, it can mean the point at which a financial instrument, like a bond, reaches its full value and stops accruing interest. 1. Biological context. 2. The caterpillar has finally come to maturity and transformed into a butterfly. 3. This illustrates the end of a developmental phase in nature. 4. Emotional or intellectual growth. 5. After years of experience, she has come to maturity and understands the complexities of life. 6. This reflects personal development and wisdom gained over time. 7. Financial context. 8. The bond will come to maturity in five years, after which you can redeem its full value. 9. This example is about the maturity date of a financial instrument. Context matters. Always consider the context to understand and use the phrase correctly. Don't overuse. While it's a great phrase, using it too frequently in the wrong context can lead to confusion. Similar phrases. Be aware of similar phrases like reach maturity or attain maturity which can be used interchangeably depending on the context. We hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, come to maturity, and its various uses in English. Remember, mastering a language involves understanding such nuanced phrases and their appropriate contexts. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use this phrase in your conversations or writings. Until next time, Happy learning!